Hello everyone. Welcome to the channel of RD Automation Learning. So in this video, we are going to share the TCS mass hiring that is going to happen. So they have launched one link on their website itself where the graduates of 2023-24 have to register and they will have to appear for the test and the hiring process will be starting, right? So if you remember on this Sunday itself, we had covered one video of the IT industry of the positive trends that is uh, coming up in the IT industry. So this is one of the aspect that we had covered that TCS will be coming up very soon on that, right? So we'll be sharing details, but before that, if you are watching this channel for the very first time, then please do hit like, share and subscribe our channel. So let us look into these details. So this link I'll be pasting in the comment section of the video, right? So this is TCS careers, TCS India careers page, right? And uh, they are inviting the graduates of 2023 and 24 to apply for the TCS smart hiring drive, right? Important dates. So registration end date is 14th of December. That is uh, Thursday, right? Test date they will be declaring and you will have to click on this button and you will receive one register registration form in which you will have to fill up all your mandatory details, your personal details, your mark sheets, um, grades and all those things, right? Now, what is this about? So TCS hiring is exclusively exclusively for candidates from the stream of BCA, BSc, IT, Computer Science, Maths, Statistics, Physics, Chemistry, Electronics, right? And then in CS and IT from the batch of 2023 and 2024, right? Then we will also have TCS Ignite. So what is TCS Ignite is? So if you perform exceptionally well in TCS smart hiring selection process, right? Then you will get an opportunity to join TCS Ignite program also, right? In this program, you will be trained on trending technologies and this will open the doorway to a global IT career. So any person who is performing, who is, uh, you know, uh, giving his best in this particular test of TCS smart hiring, they will be getting an opportunity to sit for TCS Ignite also. And TCS Ignite, in which they will be given the training of uh, trending technologies, programming languages, coding, softwares, and hence they will be able to kickstart their career in the field of IT. Okay. Now, below steps are to be followed for registration. So, first of all, you will have to log in to the TCS Next Step portal, right? You will have to verify your details as per Aadhaar card. Why Aadhaar card? Because these days, if you will see, the IT companies are. Uh, very stringent about the background processes, right? So we'll be covering one more video on background processes also, whether fake experience is good or not. But uh, that's why they are looking for all these kind of details, Aadhaar card verification, PAN card, and all these things, right? It is important and mandatory to update your details correctly, right? Incorrect details submitted may lead to disqualification of your candidature. So if you feel that your Aadhaar card is not updated, your last name is not updated. So get it updated first and then you can up upload your Aadhaar card soft copy on this particular page. Next step will be to register and apply for TCS Smart Hiring. If you are a registered user, right, then you can directly log in and you can click on apply for drive. Scenario B, if you are a new user, then you will have to register yourself right choose category as it and proceed to fill your details see it is very important that you choose this particular category right uh, because there are so many categories that you would be seeing in that drop down right submit your application form and click on apply for drive right so these are pretty straightforward steps that you will have to follow right then the fourth step is select your mode of test in center so that you will have to select some center in which you can give the test in which you are your preferred location you can say right which wherein you are comfortable to go and give the test right and then you can uh, also check track your application the status at the last should be applied for drive right so this is about this particular thing now there are few things that we all have to take care of is that if any person uh, if you know you are getting any kind of communication email from tcs at the rate gmail.com or tcs at the rate redfmail.com or tcs at the rate hotmail yahoomail.com. So you don't have to entertain them. You don't have to respond to them because those are scams, right? Those are one of the scams that are happening in the IT industry. So you don't have to pay anything to them. This is totally free of cost and it depends on 
what is the uh, you know your grade or your marks in your test that you are going to give right they are not going to ask you to pay some x amount of money to get a job this does not happens here so if you get any such kind of communication then please delete that email please block that email those are kind of scam persons that are happening right you must have all your original documents mark sheets degree certificate internship letter work experience letter and everything right TCS does not ask candidates to deposit any money for job offers. So a couple of days back, one of my subscribers just called me and he was asking me that I need to pay some uh, 2,500 to get a job into the Tata Motors company. So I uh, asked him if you can send an email to us, to our email address, rdautomationlearning at the rate of gmail.com and then we will verify. So that was one of the scam, right? And somehow that amount got saved, right? So uh, see, as you are trying to take a job, so there are two kinds of people that you will see in this world, right? One will be the genuine helpers. One will be the ones who would be trying to take an advantage of the situation in which you are in. So don't, uh, you know, entertain such kind of things. Test pattern. So test pattern will have numerical, verbal ability, reasoning ability, these three sections and the duration will be 120 minutes. So you will have to be prepared for all these things, right? Eligibility criteria. This is the eligibility criteria. Courses and discipline. Batch of 2023-2024. Should not have any backlogs at the time of appearing for TCS selection process. No backlogs are allowed. In batch of 24, one active backlog is fine, right? But then please try to keep, you know, no backlogs in your career. It's not only for TCS, but for other IT companies also. They don't allow all such things gaps and break it is mandatory for students to declare gaps in the education now sometimes you know many of the students they hide the gap if they have not uh, you know cleared for some particular year or some particular semester then they will try to hide don't do all those things right whatever the relevant documents proof are there that should be there extended education course types age is also their work experience right few of the faqs are also given here right uh, I'm not able to select my preferred city, then what will you do? Then you will have to select another available city which is nearby your city, right? So these kind of FAQs are also available, right? And uh, if you want to change your photo, if you don't have your DT number, and if you get any error, then what is the solution, right? So these all things are present and this is a full-time job in TCS, right? So here are all the details right so this was a video on tcs smart hiring for freshers right tcs smart hiring program tcs ignite program tcs jobs it jobs related um, information has been shared in this video please do hit like button there is nothing uh, wrong in hitting the like button this will help us to you know create more such videos which can help you to take your career to the next level right so thank you so much for watching this video and stay tuned for more updates thank you